Hey cats, it's Ed, Beast Bud here, with an initial review on a Puma shoe, the fantastic Deviate Nitro 2. No holds barred, I think this is one of the best running shoes of the year. Let's get to it. Thanks for joining me on the channel people, I really appreciate the support. Lots of super thanks as recently down in the comments, I do appreciate that ad hoc support. I urge you to hit that subscribe button and click the bell below for notifications of when the new videos are rolled out. Also give this video a thumbs up like, it really does help out the channel. Onto the shoe, here's the shoe. I have purchased this one from Puma with my own earth credits. I say Puma, it was actually from Amazon. For some reason, it was much cheaper there. I think this one's 140 at retail. I've managed to pick it up for just under 100 big ones. 299 grams here in my UK size 11, US size 12. That's about 10.5 ounces, if you like that sort of thing. I've got about 39 millimeters of heel stack here in my size and about 33 in the forefoot. So it makes for about a six mil drop. I think that's actually what it states on the Puma website. It does feel a little bit more than that though, I think, because we've got a slightly firmer feel here in the heel and it's a little bit more compressive in the forefoot so it does feel like you're actually sort of angling down slightly does that make sense yes you just sink into the front of the shoe a little bit more we'll start the review with the upper first so a massive improvement here in the deviate nitro version 2 over the v1 padded and soft like a sofa around the achilles just elevates the lockdown of the shoe that little bit more the mesh around the toe box is flexible and fancy free sadly a little bit too flexible the power tape here is peeling off a little bit after about 10 miles a little bit disappointed i will adjust my score in a moment as i've just noticed Notice this. Though do be aware in terms of the upper we still have that quite considerable curve here that is found in pretty much all the Puma running shoes. It's a very similar fit to the Puma Faster Nitro that I've picked up recently. This one kind of fits into a lovely position between like a daily model and a racing model. Like a family car used to drop the kids off to school but with a leather interior. You catch my drift, right? Flat laces here with a little stretch, but not enough to ruin the party. There is a smaller gusseted section to the tongue here. It's a relatively foamy tongue. A little bit of padding through the middle and it protects the top of the foot in a reasonable fashion. There's a very flexible heel counter here. It does feel a little bit more like a race shoe than a trainer. Kind of makes this one like a spot on training partner really if you really enjoy the fast R Nitro. Fits fantastic for me, I have to say I'm really enjoying it. Just a little bit disappointed that this power tape's peeling away. I don't think it serves that much purpose really so it might actually weight relieve the shoe a little bit. In the Kafuzi colorway here, I think it's an absolute banger. I've even got away with wearing it around the office a little bit. I'm going to take off a couple of points there just for the fact that this bit's peeling off. It's a bit of a disappointment. I'll give it a 2.8 out of 3 for the upper after my initial runs. Fit is fantastic. Midsole, midsole, midsole now. Midsole, what a result liquid foam in all honesty this feels more like a training partner to the deviate nitro elite or perhaps like a daily version of the fast r nitro now rather than like a shoe all of its own i think in terms of category it sort of fits in perfectly to where it's intended the rebound and firmer impact of the deviate nitro original is gone it's just replaced by a slightly more aggressive feel here from the introduction of the two foams we have a heel section which is made up of the nitro foam and then sat atop of that through into the forefoot here is the nitro elite the nitro foam is a nitro infused eva so it's a little bit firmer then you've got a larger and longer nitro elite section which is what most of your foot sits on and that's like a nitrogen infused pbax foam a balance of cushion that i have to say guys represents one of the best that i have found out the box it was dynamite and it's freed up a little bit over time too there's definitely a whiff of the tempo next percent here from nike I really enjoyed that shoe, quite aggressive, made me want to run very fast, and this shoe does that too. But it also handles slower paces better. It's very responsive at pace. You could race in this shoe, no problem at all. Perhaps half marathon through to a marathon, I can see it working. Just made me want to run faster and made me want to run longer. Though I still liked it at recovery paces too in between. That composite power plate that's installed between the two foams is just rigid enough to provide some propulsion, but I do feel its main purpose here in the shoe is to provide some stability underfoot. It enjoys going faster, but for me, it's gonna be the ideal pace shoe to use over the winter months with the superb outsole. That plate is more of a stabilizing influence here, I feel, 
now you've got two very squashy foams underfoot just helps to control the landing and toe off superbly at half marathon pace for me this one feels absolutely smashing perhaps not one i'd opt for if i was going to run like a very fast 5k but you could do it it's very much a training shoe by puma's account but i think certainly it's a race option very much a shoe you could use for a marathon or perhaps your longer runs and at sub 300 grams i think it's spot on in terms of weight a brilliant blend of the two top puma foams right now and it's one of the best midsoles i've tried all year fits beautifully into a position of like max cushion and speed i'm gonna give it a three out of three for the midsole i don't want to change a thing and i hope it stays that way outsole now outsole wise we got a lot of rubber here guys bags of it in the forefoot there and a healthy portion in the heel it's almost like an octopus like sucker grip I mean, God knows what they put into this Puma Grip stuff. Leech-like traction in wet weather. And on road, you can really feel like you can push off with some gusto. The outsole grip on some of the Puma shoes over the last couple of years has been second to none. No different here in the oddly strange directional shaped lugs. In the heel you've got even more rubber there and a slightly circular motion. There's only a small section of exposed midsole here. Pretty much all of the landing will be on the rubber. It's certainly a very thick application of the rubber and again I never burn through this stuff at 100 odd miles they barely make a dent so it does make me wonder personally do i need all of this rubber here could i have gotten away with a slightly thinner application probably but others will grind lots of miles into this shoe and i feel that's going to give you some reasonable durability from the deviate nitro too i think there's worse places you can put your cash into and you won't get the longevity that you will in the puma shoe very assured and performs well on pretty much anything really did even respond quite well on some wet grass and some light trails too i think that's mainly down to the depth of the protrusions here in the mid to forefoot i just personally wish there was a little bit less of it i'm going to give this a two point out of three after my initial runs for the outsole value now i gotta be honest i think the puma deviate nitro 2 smokes the speed three a little bit this time around and it absolutely cooks the original version of the deviate nitro it's closer to something like the tempo next percent from nike but i find the softer heel here in the puma shoe is just a little bit more forgiving certainly more comfortable at lower paces than that nike offering now this isn't a vaporfly or an endorphin pro 3 or something but it's a very capable training and racing shoe and at a great price as well 150 40 pounds retail that's darn good it's a major surprise and it's one i wished i picked up perhaps on release a little bit earlier this year and at the price that i managed to pick it up for which is sub 100 pounds it is incredible value perhaps this is the update that i wished we'd got in the zoom fly series from nike those have just got heavier and heavier and more bulky this is more refined it feels like that sort of shoe you can pull out to do some very fast training sessions or you can just bung it on to run some easy miles very very versatile this one from puma a reasonably rigid play and you've got that updated super foam here fantastic propulsion and comfort and some great upper flexibility and fit it keeps you locked in for the ride probably my shoe of the year so far 2.9 out of 3 for value after my initial runs overall scores on the doors for the puma deviate nitro 2 absolute banger people go and pick this one up probably one of the best of the year so far have you been getting on with the puma deviate nitro 2 let the runners and i know down in the comments musical interlude time today a great alternative seasonal christmas tune for you from julian casablancas i wish it was christmas today is one of my favorites so i was dig out round about this time it's got a cool kind of eels feel about it this one some nice synthesizers some really chuggy drums and a very lazy kind of hushed vocal from julian casablancas but then he elevates things a little later in the song around about one minute 40 he really elevates his vocal upwards with the chorus and it's got that true kind of stroke style i guess i mean when you consider he used to come up with a lot of the strokes material and then the band would kind of figure out all the parts and actually record the track julian casablancas looking very cool there holding his drink with his special suit on. Other than the sleigh bells, you really haven't got that many other seasonal sounds in there, but somehow it still manages to sound very Christmas-like. 
go and check it out i wish it was christmas today by julian casablancas thanks for tuning in people it's always appreciated let me know your thoughts on this shoe down in the comments have i completely lost my mind on this one just feels like an absolutely fantastic running shoe and you know i tell it like it is hit that subscribe button and click the bell below for notifications also give this video a thumbs up like and share it with your running buddies my name's ed bud and i'll be seeing you